Welcome to this menstruation workout series. I'm your girl Abigail from Move Beyond Body and together we're going to embrace the power of our menstrual cycle. It's all about self-care and cycle care as we sync our workouts with our natural flow. Get ready to harness the magic of your hormones and ride the ebbs and flows of your cycle for a healthier, happier you. Are you ready? Let's go. Welcome to this menstrual cycle flow. I'm your girl Abigail and I'm from Move Beyond Body about to guide you through your first phase of your cycle. In this phase, it's good to acknowledge where your body is at, reel in on the social activities, find time to nurture yourself and also to understand that your body energy is very low at this time as well as your hormonal energy. So your hormones are lower, your estrogen and progesterone levels are low. So it just makes sense that you will have less energy. And with that, know what kind of workouts will fit with that kind of phase of your, with that phase of your cycle. In this cycle or in this class, we're going to be finding active recovery by reducing inflammation and bloating, as well as bo uh, boosting circulation. It's going to be slow and relaxed and grounding. So when you're ready, find yourself on your knees, on the mat, and just find this meditative stance, sitting down or meditative position in hero pose, just feeling the earth beneath you, connecting with the space around you. And we're gonna start by placing our hands on our belly and just begin to do this nurturing touch towards your abdomen, rubbing your hands from pubic bone to hip bone, just creating this warmth in the belly region. You can soften your eyes if you wish. And we're gonna start with a breath where we'll inhale, lift the arms above the head, lift your hips up. And then exhale, draw your body down. Two more, inhale, lift. And exhale down. On your last one, inhale, lift. And draw your hands down, find tabletop position. Begin to rock your body side to side, find the wiggles. We're gonna do a few rounds of cats and cows. So inhale, lift. Exhale, find your cat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hold your cat. Hold your tailbone tucked. Relax your chin to your chest for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 3, and 2, and 1. Release, sit back on your heels. Now what we're going to do next, we're going to face the front and you're gonna step your right foot forward. Actually, I'm going to face the side. So you're in this 90 degree angle and you're gonna kick your heel forward and you're gonna shift your hip forward and then shift it back. If you need to place your hand on a chair or on, a surf, on the sofa, you're welcome to do that. All we're doing at this time is working into that left hip flexor. So if your right leg is forward, just find the slow movement between the front and the back. What you're doing is you're squeezing your glutes when you go forward to protect your lower spine and flexing your toes to get that elongated feeling on the back of your legs when your legs straighten. Good job. Two more just like that. And then we'll swap sides and release. Swap your legs, step your other leg forward, same thing. Shifting your weight forward and back, finding the flexion in the ankle when you go back. And a squeeze of the glute to protect your lower spine as well. So we're working into this joint, ball and socket joint region of the hip, as well as the ankle and the knee. You've got two more to go. And last one, excellent. Now front facing, we're going to step that left leg out to the side. So your 45 degree angle might look very different to mine, honor your body. And what we're going to do is we're gonna shift our weight forward in line with the third toe and then back. You're gonna shift your weight forward. You really feel this hamstring inner thigh opening up. And we're gonna add arms. So you can take your arms overhead and then shift them under and over and under and 
over. If the arms don't serve you at this time, you can just place and relax and rest your hands on your knees. We'll do two more. And release. The last one. And release. Draw your knees back together. Swap to the other side. Shifting the weight forward and back. Mindful of where your heel lives. Try to keep it underneath that, that right knee. If adding your arms feel good, you're going to take it under. And when you come up, they go over and under. If it doesn't serve, you can rest them on your knees. You've got four more. And up. And three. And two. Last one. Excellent work. Draw your knees back down. Bring your booty onto the floor. And come into butterfly position. Now, in butterfly position, draw your feet together. And just allow your hips to flop side to side, bring that gentle movement like a butterfly into your knee. Slowly moving in and out of your breath, filing that elongated feeling in the lower spine. Good job. Now from here, we're going to step the feet forward. And what we're going to do is we're going to lean back, lie back in, onto your spine, and we're gonna draw that knee closer to the body. Really just massaging into the lower region, close to the uterus, bringing the knee in and out every time, just pulling that knee towards the armpit, massaging the belly. You've got two more, pull it in, and release. Last one, hold it there. Then twist the body, pull the knee over towards the opposite side and just allow the body to go with the flow. No hectic adjustment needed here. You just want to cross the middle line with that knee and then release, come back to center. We're going to swap to the other side, lengthen the right, right leg away, lift the left leg. You're finding that compression and then release. Compress. And release. So there's slow nurturing energy in this practice today. Really focusing and paying attention to what your body is able and willing to do at this time of the, this phase of your cycle is so important. On your next lift, hold it. And then just bring that knee across the body, finding that twist. No hectic adjustments here. Just flop open to the side. Hold it here for three, two, one. Come back to center. Draw your knees into your chest. Take a couple of breaths here. And maybe just circle the knees out into one direction. And then circle your knees back in into another direction. And what we're gonna do next is, we're going to place our feet next to each other. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn to the other way. So you're gonna bring your feet together and then lie back down. And you're gonna take your arms and you're gonna close your hands, like you're giving yourself a high five. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your arms above your head, draw that little circle and open your chest, shoulders up to the ceiling, finding that twist in the upper body. And then draw a rainbow shape back forward, bringing your hands together, drawing that rainbow all the way along the body, open up and back to front. We'll do two more in this direction, finding movement and finding that rotation in the upper body. This is where we are doing the inflammatory work and the circulation. We're boosting the circulation in the spine. Good job. Last one, coming back up. Allow your legs to flop over to the other side. Again, finding that five, high five position and then drawing that big circle over and close just moving with each breath and close we'll do two more and 
open. Really finding that rinse out, that rinsing sensation in the middle spine. And last one, we're opening it up. And release, bringing your knees back into the center. We're going to find happy baby, kicking your feet up, grabbing your feet from underneath, otherwise holding on to your yoga pants or your shins, and just rocking here from side to side, finding the playfulness in your practice, really compressing the lungs, the ribs, rocking from side to side here. It's really good to release any buildup of tension in the lower spine. And then release your feet back down to the floor. We're going to finish this very short um, phase um, workout with a Baddha Konasana, feet open, relaxing your legs open into a butterfly position and just allowing the body to release onto the floor. Taking a moment to just be. And if you feel like propping pillows underneath your thighs, to make this more accessible to wherever your body is at, please go ahead and do so. And just releasing this beautiful body into the ground, into the floor. Breathing in and out through the nose. We're gonna do one more inhale. And then exhale, elong your, elongate your legs along the mat, along the floor. Reach your hands away, create space. Make yourself longer. Reach, 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 reach. And then pull your knees into your chest. Tuck your chin in. We'll do two more just like that. Reach, 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 reach. And then exhale, pull yourself closer. Hug yourself closer. Last one, exhale or inhale at least, apologies, and then exhale, bring the body close, release, come back up, cross your shins, face the front. Beautiful work. Guys, I just wanna say you're doing great. That was the first phase of your menstrual cycle. And I want you to really take this opportunity to check in with the next video and go with the flow. It was an absolute pleasure. I look forward to seeing you in the follicular phase. Cheers.